This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video. Today we're going to be playing with a Rogue Aerodactyl deck that did quite well at a recent regional. So uh, this is a Rogue deck because it's going to be uh, using all kinds of one prize attackers to just get the better hand uh, of course on, on the opponent. We have of course Aerodactyl here with the Fossil Fangs. It dishes out 180 damage for a simple attachment because we're going to be relying on triple accelerated energy. Fossil Fangs smacks 180 uh, if we don't run any GXs and uh, which is definitely going to be the case. We have a lot of one price attackers. We even have Frostlass, my main uh, yeah, uh, card here. I use this uh, card at the World Championships. Uh, it did quite well and uh, it's back here in this rogue deck again. I love one price attacker uh, attacking Pokemon if you haven't noticed already. This guy can dish out 140 damage for a single attachment and against Reshizar that's a one hit KO thanks to weakness. We're going to be running Hoopa because of course if you're facing Malamar this is going to be an ideal uh, uh, inclusion in any deck to just use Evil Admonition and just destroy Giratinos. We also have one copy of the uh, Weavile here because sometimes Mewtwo decks uh, have a, a crazy amount of abilities in play and this uh, can evolve from the little Ditto. Ditto can actually evolve into a lot of Pokemon in this deck so that's awesome. We have one copy of the Farfetch which can uh, easily get rid of spell tags or any uh, tool cards on the opponent's active while also dishing out 90 damage for a single attachment so Farfetch definitely seen play. We've seen it before in Picaron list as well so uh, it does uh, show uh, some love here in the community for the Farfetch and uh, there are our main draw engine is going to be Pidgeotto. This is uh, kind of nice because with airmail, you can uh, look at the top two cards, put one in the hand and one to the bottom of the deck. And we also have one copy of the Pidgeot. So uh, sometimes the Pidgeotto can evolve into a Pidgeot. And with Spin Storm, you can put the opponent's active and all cards attached to them into their hand, which is nice. Uh, which uh, sometimes if they have only one active, we win the game automatically. Think for uh, example, a Gardevoir. We use this attack, boom, there it's uh, back in their uh, the hand and then it's gonna be fantastic to try out. Sometimes that happens. So uh, we also have Mr. Mime to block things like Super Scoop Up because that sometimes can uh, be a little bit uh, troublesome. And we also have Nidalego in the late game to use Nightcap, copying any attack on the opponent's side of the field. Uh, together with Mew Weaver, we also have Psy Power at our uh, disposal to put damage counters around for the da nice uh, damage count. And then we also have Bench Barrier to block ourselves from uh, damage. We're gonna be relying on Pokemon Research Lab here to get our Aerodactyl into play and uh, uh, the Shroud of Punishment will help out through the game to just uh, uh, put some damage counters here and there. Grimsley in combination with Shroud of Punishment in combination with the huge damage output of uh, some of our attackers will definitely get a uh, one hit KO on tag teams which is definitely something we want. So uh, what else is uh, miraculous here? We have a Reds Challenge to get whatever we please. We have some uh, yeah Stadium Navigator, uh, one of them in here and we also have a Reset Stab. Reset Stab helps out a lot and then uh, one weird card here is Last Chance potion to heal off completely. Sometimes if uh, Mewtwo uses like Turbo Strike on an Aerodactyl, we survive that hit and we can use Last Chance Potion. So they have to uh, use another attack, maybe Flare Strike, whatever. We'll see how it goes. So uh, this is gonna be the Rogue deck for today. If you're hyped already, be sure to demolish the like button as always because that definitely helps out the channel tremendously. And uh, yeah, it's uh, another one prize attacking deck. I'm just so uh, so much uh, hypedly for uh, one prizers. We have Spiritomb in the format. We have Malamar in the format. We have Frostlass in the format. There's a lot of uh, maybe Baby Blossophilon. So I do love the fact that there's still a lot of viable one prize attackers. Not as many as I would love it to be. Like in the days we had like lots of them, like uh, Zapdos, Jirachi and all that stuff. But now we're just already happy with uh, something rogue that pops up out of regional. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll get that first uh, turn Pokemon Research Lab so we can get our Aerodactyls into play. That is going to be the best way to go about this. If we don't, uh, we don't run Unidentified Fossil so it's going to be uh, wasting a turn to get them into play. Or we can evolve Ditto into either Pidgeotto, Aerodactyl, Weavile or Frostlass. So the Ditto is very crucial in our list. We're facing off against uh, a Metal Fire deck. Oof, I don't know what kind of version this is. We'll have to wait and see how it turns out. Uh, and our opponent is Fungi, we'll see. Metal cards, fire cards, this is a Mel Metal list, who knows. Uh, we're gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna find just putting the Snorrent into play. Our hand is actually ridiculously bad. We're not gonna bench anything just yet, uh, we just wanna see what we're up against first. So wow, a lot of basic Pokemon already, so that seems to be, oh no. Pidgeotto, Babyblocephalon, okay. 
I can understand that. Baby Blacephalon, another one prize deck. And uh, they already get their setup with the Pidgeys and stuff. Wow. Okay, nothing to go around. So we have Stamp. We can stamp them, I guess. We have a Pidgey. We have another Pidgey. We can smack 20 damage with a Snorunt. That's the only thing we can do at this point. And uh, do we stamp them? Maybe we should leave our stamps for the late, although stamps will not work in the late game. Hopefully they don't drop Pidgeotto. So we want to just stamp the opponent and uh, that's gonna be that. Now we're just gonna smack 20 damage. I know it's it seems terrible, but that's the only thing we can do with our hand. We need to find something like a draw supporter very, very quickly here. Otherwise we will get destroyed here. The good news is that the opponent did not uh, have an attach of the turn. So at least we're safe. Okay, Pokegear whiffs. And it's back to us, so the reset stamp helped us out and we have a draw supporter, Tate and Liza. Not the best one in the world, but still, if we shuffle our hand and draw into a frost blast, things will turn out tremendously. Ah, uh, we have nothing of that sort. Okay, Strand of Punishment will not help in a one prize deck like that, so I'm just gonna find just Icicle. Come on, Snorin, you got this, you got this. Hopefully he whiffs again. Four Pidgey. No Baby Blacephalon. Even if he has an attach of the turn in combination with uh, Wilder, he still needs to get this Pidgey out of the active position. He has the attach of the turn, he could go... Okay, he retreats to Pidgey. Okay, he's uh, completely stuck, so this is uh, a weird kind of scenario. We have Cynthia on hand, but the better plan of action is to just go for Wretch Challenge, get rid of the Shrine of Punishment, which is irrelevant in this matchup, as, a, as well as the Mr. Mime. And we're gonna go full force with Frostlass. Also gonna check here, we have... Pidgeotto's of our own, we have our Dactyl. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of a weird matchup here because uh, the opponent still doesn't have attachments of the turn, so he just retreated. We have triple accelerated energy, which we could attach. Maybe it was better to get out some Aerodactyls in this turn, but I'm fine just to destroy this Pidgey. Just Pidgey has, uh, yeah, we only need to put, the, put three damage counters on ourselves and bam, it's over. We got a prize card, so uh, we are ahead in the prize race, which means if we draw into a Pokemon Research Lab, it'll do the exact same thing, so we can get some Pokemon into play. So at least we get a KO here, while also getting rid of one Pidgey. Okay. Okay, they concede, so uh, they just got Reset Stamp and the list bricked, I guess. So this is weird, using a Reset Stamp early game to win a game, it happens, it happens. So we're gonna be playing another round here because that did not showcase the full power of the Rogue Aerodactyl deck. We definitely need to start with Pokemon Research Lab so we can showcase the full potential. Right now it was just Frostlass destroying a Pidgey. There's no skill needed to do that. They, uh, sometimes TCGO shuffles happen and both players don't draw too well. In real life you could also have one of those matches. Let me know in the comment section if you ever experienced like a, a game where both players are breaking like crazy. Okay. That top deck Tate and Liza was actually very, very nice. So, we're looking for an opponent. Uh, not a lot of opponents are ready here for the Rogue Aerodactyl deck. It's gonna be Picaram. Or, yeah, I do, uh, do think it's Picaram. It's uh, Darkness. Or maybe it's Dark Box. The Darkness, I think, uh, on an Absol tag, but it could also be Dark Box. We'll see how it goes. We start with Mew. Or we collect with Farfetch. Brr, interesting scenario. Interesting scenario. Spreading some damage counters around with Mew uh, definitely seems like a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna put this here. And we're just gonna wait and see what we get. We can communication out something. Okay, they start with Darkrai. Darkrai, that's what I expected. Dark Box, Viridian Forest. The bad news is that we only have 60 HP. The good news is that he already smacks 150 regardless. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Getting some Aerodactyls out will be key. We don't have... A Pokemon Research Lab again. We could communication and get ourselves a Ditto immediately. Smacking down Farfetch. Uh, oh wow, this is a full art Cynthia, the one from the Hidden Fate set. Look at this, this is fantastic, beautiful. Okay, our Cynthia is just regular. We don't have uh, those fancy smancy cards and uh, the opponent already gets out of Poipol. They still need to smack down a Sneasel, otherwise things would go nasty for the opponent. He already used the Cynthia and he now he's using the uh, treasure. So that means I do think that the opponent will now... Okay, the Dene. I didn't say anything. They already relied on the Dene. That is his second custom catcher. Good to know. So if one custom catcher is prized, there's no way of gusting. Okay, that's that. No Sneasel! Woo! We are here in a scenario where the opponent didn't draw into a Sneasel. So, we're gonna use communication, we're gonna get our Ditto on board, our main way to evolve into those. Yeah, Weavile will definitely just destroy the opponent. Could also get out of Pidgey here. 
Well, Ditto can evolve into Pidgeotto regardless, so I do think that is the best plan of action. Getting this on board, maybe smacking down Farfetch. He might have tool cards. Will he have tool cards? Dark Box, I don't know. But I don't want this Farfetch actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. We're gonna get out the Water Energy for the means of it. And uh, we are gonna be attaching that Water Energy over here. We could also attack with the Mew, but I'm not sure if we draw to Research Lab, we're definitely gonna be using that. So that's why uh, things go like this. Stadium Navigator, yes, that's what we wanted. We get one head, so that's all we need. Pokemon Research Lab is here, could also go for Shrine of Punishment, but getting out some Aerodactyl will definitely be helping out a lot. So with the Pokemon Research Lab, we can get our both Aerodactyls out and that is how the deck will function. So glad I'll be able to showcase the full potential of the deck. We don't have any Pidgeottos, but we could get a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto from the Elms Lecture. At least we have that going for us. We already have our Aerodactyls. Okay, that's a lot of abilities that's coming into play here. Maybe Weavel is going to be the better choice. The good news is, with uh, Ultra Space, we can grab our own Ultra Beast, and that is going to be the Nigel Ligo. Nigel Ligo is going to be nice in the late game to copy any attack, even GX move. So, I do not think that this deck runs any Tatalizers or Switches, so we can even use the Tingly Return GX. Could be kind of fun, I guess. That way they're paralyzed, and we can still use, of course, any of our attacks. So, there comes the Ditto. Alright, we have our main setup here. We can uh, put some damage counters around, but first things first. Let's go with the Elms Lecture, getting out Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgeotto. Yeah, I think that is fine. Or Pidgeotto and Pidgey. I actually want to keep my... Um, uh, evolving into Weavile would be so much fun to dish out so much damage. But I guess we're going to have to go with the two-shot. There's uh, ooh, one Custom Catcher. There seems to be... Yeah, two Custom Catcher Sprites. Ooh, well, how do we go about this? Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgeotto. We don't have anything to work with. Oh, sad. Yeah, let's get these on board, I guess. Also gonna be using Ultra Space, getting the Nigel Ligo out of the deck. Hopefully we draw into something good here. Smacking down a Pidgey. Do we evolve our amazing Ditto or do we wait? Can we wait? We already used the supporter this turn. I think I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna use the Psy Power here. Uh, this guy dished out 180, so we might as well use Psy Power to put some damage counters around the field. 180, we, if we draw into Custom Catcher, we can get rid, we're rid of the Weavile. 180, Shrine, mm. Three damage counters, I think I'm gonna go for the Dedo. Yeah, that's that. Okay, we already have a triple in the hand, so we can smack damage onto this uh, Umbreon and Darkrai, so we're at least doing something productive. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know how, it gonna how it's gonna turn out. We all also have uh, chances of getting Frostlass into play. Okay, this is good. If we get Custom Catcher, we can get rid of the Weavile entirely, which is not bad. Okay, here comes the big Erika, an Erika for bazillion cards. Could have also targeted down the Mew here. Eh, we'll see. We'll see how it pro progresses. We definitely gonna have to go for a two shot here on this guy. Has 270, so that's why I didn't use the Psy Power on that. Alright, reset stamp. Oof. Maybe we get Weavile? Okay, we get the Wretch Challenge. Blacklands. So, with Wretch Challenge, we can get whatever we please. How many abilities? One, two, three, four, five. Five abilities. That's 250 damage. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a lot. That is a lot. We have Weavel in the deck, so 250 damage seems to be plausible for me. And Shrine as well. This is fantastic. Wow, we're gonna get uh, that uh, Nigaligo first. I'm so glad that it didn't evolve into Pidgeotto now. So we're gonna use the Wretch Challenge. He's definitely gonna go for one hit KOs. So we're gonna get rid of the Last Chance Potion together with the Elm. And we're gonna be getting this bad boy out, Weavel. So if the Shrine sticks in play, he's definitely gonna feel that one. So Weavile coming up together with uh, Rainbow Energy, just what we needed here. And uh, we're also gonna smack down the Shrine. So our Aerodactyls will be our late game sweepers, knocking out the Dene and Weavile. So for now, I'm just fine going with a crazy evil emanation for 250 damage with Shrine, that's 260. So if we draw into another Shrine, this guy gets knocked out while well, we can still attack and uh, these Aerodactyls are definitely hungry for KOs, which is awesome. So if he doesn't find a counter stadium, he already used like a Viridian and an Ultra Space. So uh, if he doesn't find a stadium, it's going to be fantastic. Okay, Mewtwo is also part of this deck. Getting out of Schneasel will be irrelevant. Weavile, so my Weavile is better than his Weavile, so it seems. 
He can also start attacking with his uh, Naganadal, but that only smacks out 80 damage. Minus the resistance, it's only 60 damage. So our Weevil will survive that hit, so he's definitely gonna have to attack with something. And if he doesn't draw into a Stadium card, he's done for. So that's how this Rogue deck functions. Sometimes you have to just debate on whether you want to evolve your Ditto into a Pidgeotto or not, but this scenario looks very promising. Okay, I think... We don't know if we're gonna draw into a triple accelerated energy for just to play it safe or I'm gonna promote this Snort. We still have water energies to go around and we still get three prize cards. Fantastic. So it depends on what he's gonna promote now. So we got Cynthia, we get Pidgeot, that is good. Consistency. And we got a reset stamp. So we can stamp the opponent. Okay, we got uh, Mew. Whoa, we even get the Frostlass. How good is that? So we get Frostlass. We're gonna smack down the Pidgeotto. Also gonna go for this Night Galigo. We still have two threats on the board. We can stamp the opponent as well. Stamping into four cards. Now we're gonna use the Cynthia here to get a fresh hand and see what we get. We can knock out this uh, this Mew, no problem. Now we're just gonna target something down. We have one Custom Catcher, so we're also gonna be using the U-turn board here. Ooh, interesting. He could stamp us again. So we're gonna put ourselves a Pidgey down. So we are reset stamp proof. We're gonna be using, yeah, Poke Gear, I guess. What do we get? An L. Not uh, useful right now. We're gonna be using the Air Mill now. And uh, we get another Pidgeotto, okay. These Pidgeottos are not bad. That means we have Reset Stamp Proof and uh, the U-Turn Board can go here. We can get it back in the hand if we get knocked out. So for now, Air is gonna be a crazy cycle uh, shenanigans. <laughs> Knocking out this Mew. Easy. So. Frostlass, Aerodactyl is just sitting in the back waiting to knock out the Dennis. So that's how good it is. We even have an, a Pidgeotto. So sometimes it could be helpful to just put like a Weave on all the cards attached to them into their hands so they're slowed down immensely. But uh, it's better to knock them out. But this Pidgeotto can prove itself worthy in certain scenarios. So definitely try out this Rogue deck for yourself. I'm a huge fan of this crazy idea here. Can you spare uh, the uh, Shrine of Punishments? You can use Nike Legos and stuff. And now the opponent will try and smack with a Naganadal. Uh, he does not know that we are playing Custom Catchers. So that is good on our department. There's still uh, like two Custom Catchers prize. So we'll see if we can get them with the Pidgeotto. We're gonna use the Titan Liza in combination, I guess. Could also use the Viridian Forest. It is irrelevant at this point. Oh boy! Here comes the, the big boy, Mega Sable and Tyranitar. He's retreating. Going for the attack with the Weavile. Shadow Connection. Okay, what is he gonna do? Okay, he's gonna move all the energies to his Weavile in order to use Claw Slash. This guy has... Yeah, we don't have any GX, so at this point, if we draw into... Yeah, we get the U-turn the board back, so we can smack that onto a Pidgeotto. So we promote Pidgeotto, get the U-turn board over here. The only thing we will need is... So in this scenario, I think I'm just fine going for... Hmm, we can smack this guy, the little guy down. We can use the Viridian Forest for nothing. So we can whiff, or actually we can get an energy, but we need to triple accelerated energy to win this game. So in that scenario, we can use Tate and Liza for the shuffle again. So uh, lots of shuffling going on. And we get no triple inside. Okay, no triple inside is a little bit scary. Mm, but we can uh, make it work. We can go for the airmail. <laughs> yeah, double, triple. That's what we wanted to see here. So that is fantastic. So uh, this deck definitely showcasing what it is capable of. So we will retreat thanks to the U-turn board and we will say, well played and bam! That's how the Rogue Aerodactyl deck wins. So definitely let me know in the comment section what you think about this Rogue deck. Will you trust it out for yourself? Have you uh, gotten any inclusions that work out better in this list? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to the most the like button, subscribe for more content and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out!